Today we're going to talk about gas stoichiometry, not at STP. Previous list to this, we talked about gas stoichiometry at STP, in which we use 22.4 liters per one mole of any gas. Today, since we're not at STP, we cannot use the 22.4 liters. So here's a problem. If 77.8 grams of C6H12, and notice C6H12 is in a solid form, not a gas, so we couldn't use the ideal gas law with, with C6H12 anyhow, reacted with excess oxygen, how many liters of carbon dioxide are produced at 25 degrees and 1.75 atm? Now even knowing carbon dioxide is a gas, we cannot use the 22.4 liters because we're not at STP. So the first thing we need to do is some stoichiometry and change the 77.8 grams of C6H12 to moles of carbon dioxide. We only want to go to moles, not to grams, because we're going to use PV equals NRT. So first we want to convert the, these um, grams to moles. Add up the mass of C6H12, which happens to be 84.16 grams and one mole of C6H12. Then we're going to convert using our stoichiometry from moles of C6H12 to moles of carbon dioxide. So for every one mole of C6H12, there are six moles of CO2 produced. Okay, so for the math, 77.8 divided by 84.16 times 6, or multiply all the way across on the top, multiply across on the bottom, and then divide. We get 5.55 moles of CO2. So now, we're going to use this fact that we just calculated. There's 5.55 5, 5 moles of CO2 along with the temperature and the pressure in order to solve for the liters using PV equals, PV equals NRT, the ideal gas law. The pressure we know is 1.75. The volume we're trying to find. The moles we solved for just a second ago, 5.55 moles. R, we're going to use the 0 0.0821 since we are in ATMs. And the temperature, 25 plus 273 gives us 298. So multiply 5.55 times 0 0.0821 times 298. We're going to divide all that by 1.75. And that leaves us with V equals 77.6 liters of um, CO2. Because that's what we had moles of. Okay, now, so that's what you want to do if you have, you have start with grams and you're going to a volume different type of problem. We have 10.3 liters of carbon dioxide at 32 degrees and 0.875 atm. That was produced from how many grams of C6H12? So this time we want to end up with grams at the end. So since we have um, liters and temperature and atm to begin with, we're going to start with PV equals NRT in order to solve for moles of the gas. So then we can convert from moles of the gas two grams of the solid. Okay, so our pressure, 0.875, and that's in ATMs. Our liters, 10.3 liters. N, we're trying to solve. R is going to be the 0.0821 because our pressure is in ATM. And our temperature, 32 plus 273, which gives us 305 Kelvin. Okay, so solving for N, we are going to divide each side by 0 0.0821 times 305. That will give us N equals 0 point, rounding to 3 sig figs, 0 0.360 moles of CO2. Now we don't want CO2. We want C6H12. So now we're going to do some stoichiometry. We're going to take the 0 0.360 moles of CO2. Since we don't want CO2, the first thing we're going to do is convert away from it. 6 moles of CO2 for every 1 mole of C6H12. 
We would stop there if our problem asks for moles, but it doesn't ask for grams. So we're going to do one more step and convert to grams, which means we need the molar mass as C6H12, which is 84.16 grams. So multiply and divide, and our final answer is 5.05 grams of C6H12. Okay, so if you're doing stoichiometry, not gas stoichiometry, not at STP, you got to use a combination of PV equals NRT and stoichiometry, and you just have to read the problem to figure out which one to do first. Sometimes you're going to do the conversion first, then use PV equals NRT, or you may use um, PV equals NRT and then do stoichiometry like we just did in this last problem.